again, my little yarnivores and spiderettes. Fiber Spider back again with another tutorial just for you. And today I've got a super easy, lovely lacy stitch called the Open Diamond Stitch. Best of all, it is a one row repeat. So if you need to whip up something rather quick, whether it's a wide scarf, a wrap, or a quick, easy, light blanket, well, here you are. So for this particular piece, the swatch that I was working on, I was using Lion Brand's Ferris Wheel in the colorway of Imaginary Garden, and I used a size I 5.5 millimeter hook. Now for today's example, I'm going to be using their ice cream yarn in the colorway of Black Cherry with a five millimeter hook because it's a little bit thinner. Now, of course, you can use whatever works for you. Just use a hook that goes with, you know, that particular weight of yarn. By the way, this video is not sponsored, but I always like to let you know what I use in case if you want to try to duplicate the results. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so for this particular video, I'm not going to do my row counter because it's only a one row repeat, but I will do several for you because you know I like to be thorough. So we're going to start off with our slip knot as per usual. And we're going to be chaining in multiples of four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, I think should do it for today. Okay, so now for row one, just as long as you have a multiple of four, like I said, you can make this as wide or as narrow as you want to. So for our first stitch, it's going to be a double crochet into the sixth chain from the hook. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So into that sixth chain, double crochet. There we are. Chain up one. And then into this space on this bar, three double crochets. One, and two, and three. Okay, that's our first little cluster. Then skipping three chains, one, two, three, into the fourth chain, double crochet. Chain up one. And again, on this bar here, three double crochets. Okay, skipping another three chains, one, two, and three, into that fourth chain, double crochet. Chain up one, three double crochets around the bar that we just made, one, two, and three, then at this point you should have two chains left. So skip that one chain and then into the last chain, double crochet. And there you have it. That is the end of the first row. Okay, so for row two and for every subsequent row thereafter, chain up three, turn the work, and do a double crochet into the third double crochet. Now, it looks a little bit fuzzy if you try to identify it from over here. So what I like to do 
is after yarning over one, two, and then three. You know, it's a lot easier to see if you're going from the right to the left. So into that third double crochet, do a double crochet, chain up one, and then three double crochets around the post. There we are. And then double crochet into the third of this cluster. So again, one, two, and three. So into the top of that double, double crochet. And it's a little bit fiddly at first, but once you get it established, it's really a lot easier. I will say that. So you do your double crochet, chain up one, and then three doubles around the post. Now, technically, instead of chaining up one, you could probably chain up two and get away with it. However, do not confuse it with an actual double crochet, though. You know, it's really just to give you a little bit of height. So we did our chain one, three doubles. And again, double crochet into the third stitch, one, two, and three. There we go. Chain up one and then three doubles around the post. Oop. There we go. Now to finish off row two, you could go into one of these actual chains. However, for the second row, what I like to do is I like to just do my double crochet into this space here, just right into the space. It's okay. It works. Later on, we'll make it a little bit nice and neat and pretty and tidy. So let's do row three together. Okay, so for the third row, chain up three. Turn the work, double crochet into the third stitch, one, two, and three. Chain up one, three doubles around the post. There we go. Double into the third stitch, one, two, and three. Chain up one, three doubles around the post. Double into the third stitch, one, two, and three. Chain up one, three doubles around the post. One, two, and three. Now, this is your opportunity to make your edge nice and neat and pretty. You could, of course, go into this space with your double crochet. Yes, you could. However, if you want to make it a little bit neater along the edge into the third chain from the bottom, one, two, and three, do your double crochet into that chain. Honestly, I think it looks just a little bit more polished, like so. All right, so that is the third row. Let's do one more together, and then I'm going to show you how you can clean up your top edge, because right now it's a bit pointed with the tops of these diamonds, and if you want to have it look more similar to your bottom, well, I'll show you how to do that as well. So let's just do another of these rows because I love spending time with you and really making sure that you got it. So 
Let's chain up three. Turn the work. Double crochet into the third stitch. One, two, three. Chain up one, three doubles around the post. Okay, double crochet into the third stitch. There we go. Chain up one, three doubles around the post. Double crochet into the third stitch again. I think I gravitate towards this because it does remind me somewhat of the granny stitch. You know, you got your clusters of three. I just, I'm magnetically drawn to the granny stitch. I just, I can't help it. So from here, chain up one and then three doubles around the post. like so. And then last but not least, double crochet into the third chain. One, two, and three. The third chain of this first double crochet. And there you go. It's quick, it's easy, and for those of you that are like, yeah, well, this is really light for a scarf. Well, that's where width comes into play. Anything that is really lacy immediately gets warmth. If you make it really, really wide, well, then you bunch it up and then, you know, <laughs> it will create warmth, believe it or not. Um, or if you just want something light and drapey, this works wonders. So... At any rate, now I'm going to show you how to do the finishing top edge to make it really polished. Okay, so to do the finishing top edge, what I like to do is to chain up five. One, two, three, four, five. Turn the work. And then into the third stitch, do a slip stitch. So one, two, and three slip stitch into that third stitch, chain three, into that third stitch again, one, two, and three, another slip stitch, chain three, slip stitch into the third stitch, There we go. And then last but not least, chain two, and then double crochet into the third chain once again. Now, is this absolutely necessary? No, of course not. But if you wanna have a nice sort of blocked out edge on all four sides, I really think that it gives it, you know, a, a little extra, a little extra finishing. It's like a little bit of polish on an old piece of wood, right? <laughs> all right, so that concludes the open diamond stitch. Really fun, really lacy, and I absolutely love it as per usual. And as per usual, Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you like this. And if you did, please give a little thumbs up button down below. You know I appreciate your appreciation as always. And you know what to do until next time, right? I want all of you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, stay stitching, and please stay safe. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I will see you in my next video. Bye for now, everybody, and have a great day.